Hello all, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about what is wipe coding. You might have heard about this word wipe coding a lot. Uh, basically, wipe coding means you don't write the code physically. You will use AI and you prompt to AI what you want to do, your requirement in natural language and AI write code for you. So that is called wipe coding. So technically, without writing a code using a natural language, you are building the whole application or a requirement with the prompts and AI doing the job for you. So you will just use that code for you. That is called wipe coding. Let me show you that practically. So this is a Visual Studio code and in the Visual Studio code, let me open a folder as a project folder. Uh, maybe I will go here and uh, inside a C drive, I have a folder called Python and let me create a new folder here called wipe coding. Okay. So assume that this is my uh, folder, uh, a project folder where I will create this project. Okay, so now I have my folder opened in my Visual Studio code. So technically, basically I have to create a multiple files here and uh, implement my logic, right? But this time what I will do without creating any file here, I will use this GitHub Copilot, which is a AI actually in a agent mode. And I will ask it in a natural language to write a code for me. So the requirement may be assume like I want to develop a uh, API using Python language. Uh, which reacts to some get request, uh, maybe a greeting called like hello world or something like that. So that is my requirement. So what I'm doing it, I'm, I'm coming here, uh, create a API using fast API in which I want to have a get request at root URL which gets me hello world greeting. Make sure to have a virtual environment called my env and requirements file. So I have written my prompt here and I'm hitting enter. So you guys might have not able to see the prompt when I am typing. So I have typed my prompt here basically in a GitHub Copilot and uh, that's what you can see here at the top. So now what, e what A is doing it here is it is uh, trying to understand my requirement and it will split the task into multiple to do's as you can see it here. You can see like these are the steps it, will go, it is going to perform for you. And uh, I'm not writing any code. If you see, it is saying first I will set up a virtual environment, uh, then the fast API application file, then the requirement file, which has a packages, then install those packages, then finally test the API. So it figured out the steps and uh, it is actually f trying to create a virtual environment now here. And it is asking me to hit that allow button to create a virtual environment. So I'm hitting that allow button. So it will ask, so I'm not doing anything, right? So I have written a natural language and uh, it is performing a steps and uh, it is asking me my input or a consent when it is moving further for the next steps. As you can see, now it is basically installing the virtual environment. If you observe, it created a my virtual environment here and it is creating a files main.python file requirement.txt file. And uh, if I make it uh, big here and let me make this GitHub Copilot, you see it is adding a uh, API with a root URL which gives a hello world also. And when I go to the requirement.txt, it added the required packages too. Uh, and then if you see here now in a GitHub, it is asking me like uh, I want to install these packages from the requirement.txt file, press the allow button. So let, let's let allow that because uh, the fast API package and other packages has to be installed. So let that installation also uh, happen here. And you can see everything is running in a command prompt uh, and uh, the installation will happen. With that in this main.py file, this fast API library will not throw error for us. Okay. So let me, where is that? Let me open the GitHub Copilot here. Uh, so in, it seems installation done. Now it is asking me to activate this virtual environment. I'm hitting allow once again because we want to activate that virtual environment. Uh, and once we activate a virtual environment, I think uh, the whole thing will be ready. We can directly test this application. Let's wait for this uh, thing to finish it here. Okay, so it is asking me to install the Python. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So we, so we are simply following the instructions with a natural language, whatever it is coming. We are not even writing a code. Everything is getting written here. 
so this is called wipe coding actually so let's wait for this whole thing uh, to complete and then let's test the api you can see that right now it says like uh, let's run the let's test the api that's what it is telling and it is asking me to allow to run that with that you can test the api so let me hit the allow button to test the api and uh, once the api is ready uh, you can see it is working and you can see i think my application started here successfully and you can see here uh, at this url basically localhost 8000 so let me navigate to localhost 8000 here so i open a browser so i am going to local localhost colon 8000 port so if you navigate to there you see that i got a hello world message that means my api is available at this url and you see the get request whatever i issued it's there too right so basically with wipe code i was able to build the whole api uh, without even writing a single line of a code this is called wipe coding now many people think that okay will this replace the developers no need of developers and all that um at this moment not completely because wipe coding is fine uh, but when you are implementing a complex logic it will not work always many a times you will see errors so you need a professional developer there to sit and work on it uh, just a normal person who knows english will not uh, sufficient there but uh, but in the ui layer side in today's world uh, it is giving a better results wipe coding is working more better but at a back end code logic wherever you write a python code or a c++ sharp code or all that stuff uh, it's not up to the uh, up to the level where you can completely leave it to somebody who just know the english okay so it basically helps you to improve your productivity you will be faster uh, till yesterday you might be developing a one api in a day maybe now you can develop five apis in a day because of this wipe coding and ai things right but maybe eventually after five years 10 years it might get to a level where it will do even more efficient way even more better way so even more the productivity of uh, engineers will increase there so whatever it is right uh, but the main focus is we should know what it is writing so always focus on your uh, coding skills uh, if you have a coding skills then you can leverage these tools in an efficient way otherwise that uh, these ai tools will do something for you but you don't understand what is that and you will be not able to debug them and correct them so you will end up with a non productive person right so you should still have a knowledge of everything uh, and then you can delegate your work to ai to do that and then you can drive via ai to increase or boost your productivity okay so thank you for watching have a nice day